Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning and Sharing. Today's video is actually the extension of our previous video. In our previous video, we had discussed about the Earth movements. So now Earth movements are very important for us to understand the position of Earth with respect to the Sun. Because this particular position of Earth had a certain geographical phenomena on the Earth, which we are been observing in our own life or which we have been observing in our daily life so i want to have a quick you know recap of our previous video so that we can be able to understand today's topic so in previous video we had discussed about the two moments of earth which is rotation and the revolution Ab rotation kya hai? what is rotation rotation actually is the spinning a moment of earth on its own axis when the earth rotate on its own axis we call that the rotation a rotation periods completes after every 24 hours but actually it is 23 hours uh, 56 minutes and the four seconds so after every 24 hours one round of earth completes so after complete the round we have a you know day and the night so uh, this rotation ki wajah se hum, hume din aur raat milti hai. The another form of the movement of earth is the revolution. Now, what is the revolution? Revolution is the movement or uh, spinning of the earth on its own, on its orbit, on orbit round the sun, round the sun. So, when our earth is being spinning round the sun, we call that the, that the revolution. So, because of the revolution we have a season this has been said but it doesn't happen actually in in actual term uh, re revolution ki wajah se hume seasons nahi milte but ek aur cheez hai which we call the tilt of the earth because our earth is tilted it is 23 and half degree so hamari zameen is been tilted 23 and half degree because of that we have a season to hamari zameen jo hai suraj ke chau taraf ek circle mein ghoomti hai Suraj ke chau taraf uske baad revolution hota hai jisko hum revolution kehte hain jiski wajah se seasons aate hain but actually seasons happening because of the tilt of the earth agar ye zameen pe tilt nahi hota 23 and half zameen nahi hota to uh, you know every part of the earth has got the sun sun radiation in equal equality means every part of earth have got the sun radiation in equal time on equal places yani ki usse kya hota hai ke Suraj ki roshni har jagah pe equally padti. Magar yaha pe you see that we have a variation of the sunlight in different parts of earth. So it depends on the sun and the earth uh, position. So it tilt ki wajah se hamari zameen pe seasons paaya jate. So basically there are two types of uh, the seasons. One is the summer season and the winter season. Now in coming actually my topic. So today's topic is the solstice and the equinox so these are the two geographical phenomena which are being happen because of these two movements yani ki rotation revolution ki wajah se ek khas kism ke phenomena padte hain jisko hum kehte hain solstice aur equinox to hum start karte hain equinox acha before going to that let me you know clear that our earth rotate from west to east to hamari jo zameen jo ghoomti hai west west se east ki taraf ghoomti hai so uh, after every second you know it you know cross or pass uh, 30 kilometer so our earth you know pass 30 kilometer every seconds so it's the movement our speed of earth is 30 30 kilometer per second 30 kilometer per second so yes key speed now if you if you look at the latitudinal latitudinal you know structure of earth at the equator there's there are more speed but if you go equator if you go towards the polar areas either to the north or the south the south the speed of earth slightly decrease yani ke zameen ki jo speed hai wo aahista aahista kam hoti jati hai and it is almost none uh, at the at the polar area so ye bhi thoda vary karti hai ki jo hamari uh, speed hai zameen ki wo bhi latitudinal different pe vary karti hai ab agar aap equator pe hai to zameen zyada move karegi ek aur position bhi hai jo humne previous video mein discuss ki thi ke when our earth is close uh, is close to the uh, to the sun we call that the uh, uh, aphelion so uh, perilion so when it's at so away from it's called the aphelion so ye bhi do phenomena hote hain now we are coming to the uh, our own topic which is called the equinox and the solstice ये दो geographical phenomena होते हैं जो जिनका ज्यादा तालुक जो है ना जमीन की rotation और revolution से होता है and another 
phenomena is the how long is the distance between the sun and the earth. Now you know that our sun is 150 million kilometers away from the, from the earth. So the sun and the earth are 150 million kilometers away from the it is also an impact on the some other phenomena. So what is equinox? Now equinox, it's a Latin words which is is combination of two uh, words. Equal, equus, equus means equal, nox means light. light. Nox means night. So equal night. It's a Latin words which is the meaning is equal night. So what happens here? This uh, phenomenon happened twice a year. Two times it one it's happened in the March, another happens in the September. So March, uh, I'll say 21, 22 to 21 September and uh, sept uh, sorry, 20, 22 to 21 uh, March and 23 September. So what happens here is that the day and night are equal. Now it depends. Because I told you earlier that our earth has been slightly tilted, 23 and a half degree tilted. Because of that tilt, because of that tilt, uh, our earth doesn't get equal night or equal days or equal light everywhere, any part of the world. But two times, it happens that our sun is the sun is directly overhead the equator. Sun is directly overhead the equator. Equator ka bilkul saamne aajata hai. Bilkul equator. So after that, the sunlight has been equally falling on every part of the earth. So iski wajah se dunia mein jitne bhi laike hain, waha pe, but it also been depending either in the, you know, uh, southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere. Ye bhi us pe depend karta hai. To waha pe kya hota hai, ke din aur raat equal ho jate hain. Now, when the sunlight has been falling on the equator, directly and you know so because of that we have a you know equal night and this either you can say uh, 20 uh, 20 uh, 12 hours day or 12 hour night uh, so what happens when the line that line which divide the earth divide the earth the means the light line which divide the earth and in two equal parts we call the terminator terminator we call that the terminator or twill light so uh, in that phenomena, our land is equal, that means that the whole regions they are being getting equal uh, light. Ab, now you will have to keep in mind all the planets in the solar system, they have an equinox. Jitne bhi planets are in the land, there is an equinox. That means that in any place, in any place, in any time, there is an equal night or days. Hoti hai. So this is called the equinox. Agar, अगर जमीन यानी के टिल्ट ना होती 23 एंड हाफ डिग्री टिल्ट ना होती सो एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ हैव गॉट हैव गॉट द इक्वल डे एंड नाइट और इक्वल यू नो सनलाइट थ्रू आउट द ईयर तो वहां पे हमें कोई भी सीजंस नहीं मिलती अब इस टिल्ट की वजह से हमें सीजंस मिलती हैं सो वी कॉल दैट द इक्विनेस अब नाउ यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड इक्विनेस हैपन इन ट्वाइस अ डे uh, in two months, one is March and another September. So 20th March and uh, 23 September. We have another phenomena which is called solstice. Ab solstice kya hai? Uh, this also happened twice a day. Solstice. One is called summer solstice, another called the uh, winter solstice. Now before the uh, going to the solstice, let me uh, you know add more point here. Uh, the 20 20 uh, what is say uh, 21st March, 21st March or 20th March. When we call the vernial, this is called the vernial, uh, uh, what is say, equinox. That is the beginning. Actually, this is the beginning of the summer. I'll say summer, summer season. So we have another, uh, which is called the autumn. Oh, sorry, which is called the autumn. Which it has been marking the start of the autumn season. And there in the March, we have the start of the spring. Sorry, it's the start of the spring season, which happens in the 20th March. We have a, another, uh, you know, phenomena we call the solstice. Ab solstice mein kya hota hai? Solstice when we have a longest day and the longest, longest day and the shortest night and the shortest day and the longest night. So it happens twice a day. It happens in uh, 20th June, 20th June and 22 December. Yahan pe kya hota hai? It, 
it has a some sort of relation with the position of the sun and the earth sun once once is so close to the earth so close it's come so close to the earth and the another way it has been so away from the earth uski wajah se ye do phenomena hote hain ek ek mein kya hota hai ke hamari kya kehte hain hamari jo din hai it becomes so shortest it happens 20 22nd december which is called the you know winter winter uh, solstice aur ek hota hai summer solstice jo jo hota hai 21st june ko so these were the two phenomena which has been happening on the surface of earth it is only because of the position of the earth and also been the movements of the earth so you have to keep in mind so i hope you understand this uh you know a very inform informative video and the lecture so if you like my videos kindly you know uh, uh subscribe this channel and also share with your friends so you you will have a, a very quick notification on my new videos so till then